So recently there's been a little discord online in regards to whether the Black Clover movie has been a success or not. And I thought I'd make a short video talking about it because it is an interesting topic, but one that's really easy to figure out if you, you know, took a little bit of time to really look into it. But, you know, this mostly started because of a certain amount of people and a certain fandom who just wanted to stir the pot. But we're going to end that now and I'm going to talk about the topic at hand. So. Was the Black Clover movie a success? Yes, it was. Now, let me tell you why. So, when it comes to the Black Clover movie, when they first announced it, everybody thought the movie would release in theaters worldwide. Because we saw that recently with My Hero, we saw that with Jujutsu Kaisen, and we definitely saw that with Demon Slayer. So it makes sense that Black Clover would be released in theaters worldwide, right? Well, wrong. We all thought wrong. So what happened was Netflix bought the streaming rights. You all know this. Everybody know th knows this. Whether you're a Black Clover fan, whether you're outside the fandom. If you're just an anime fan in general and keep up with any news in, re in that regard, you will know that the Black Clover movie's rights were bought by Netflix worldwide. Now that's very important because when it comes to Netflix, they have a lot of money. And if they want to acquire something, they will get it. Now, I'm basically going to repeat what I said on Twitter, but what I said was, you can't really compare the Black Clover movie to any other movie, since, like I said, Netflix bought the worldwide streaming rights. This includes Japan, which is why over there, they only had a limited release. So think about that. When the Black Clover movie released in Japan, it was also available to see on Netflix. So the people who went to go see it in theaters were just hardcore fans of the series, which I appreciate because they could have easily stayed at home and just watched it there. But no, they went out of their way to go watch it in theaters and in person. But that aside, the movie was a success off of the fact alone that Netflix gave Shueisha that bag, and that's all they cared about. To be honest, I think Netflix probably gave Shueisha more money than Black Clover probably would have done had it released in theaters worldwide. Now, I, of course, you could probably put that up in debate, but there's no arguing about the fact that Netflix does have money. And I'm pretty sure that's really, like, all Shueisha cared about. They got everything they wanted. The limited release in theaters was probably just a bonus for, for them and all the parties involved. That's all that really matters. The movie was just a success because Shueisha got the money they wanted. It always comes down to money. They're happy. That's it. So now the question goes, was it a success for Netflix because they paid for the broadcasting rights? Shueisha's happy. Now it's up to Netflix. Did they get their money's worth? Well, yes. Look at what happened with Black Clover. Within the first 10 days that the movie released on that platform. In just the first 10 days, it got 10 million views worldwide. Averaging a million a day. That's just the first 10 days. Netflix must be extremely happy with that number. And the fact that they're still promoting it on Twitter and on various social media platforms, that just goes to show they're very happy about it. Like, I can scroll to their page right now and they're still tweeting about Black Clover's movie. And, by the way, just real quick, I still appreciate that very much because they have given it so much love. Unlike, you know, CR and their official Black Clover account, which is a shame. But, anyways, yes, TLDR... The movie was a success for Netflix, Shueisha, and any other party involved. Everyone got their money, everyone got their views, that's it. Now, would I have liked to see the movie in theaters? Yes, I would have loved to have seen it here, be it limited or a regular run. But at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure Shueisha is just happy that they got some money off it, and I'm pretty sure they got quite a bit. And this leads into the fact that there's a rumor that the Black Clover anime is coming back next year. And if that's true, which is looking to be the case, because this comes from some pretty good reliable sources, yeah, the movie's success must have them really wanting to rush the anime back out there. Which is a bit of a shame, because I want them to take their time with it. But that's out of our control. The anime is coming back next year, supposedly. And honestly, that's just looking great for Black Clover in general. So, yeah, the movie did fine. I don't think anybody needs to worry about that, and you shouldn't let anybody tell you otherwise. It was a success. I'm sure every party involved is happy. But yeah, that'll do it for me for now. I'll talk more about 
the potential of the anime coming back next year in a future video. But for now, I just wanted to talk about the movie. But anyways, that'll do it for me. Peace out. Take care and go watch the Black Clover movie again or for the first time if you haven't already because it is such a good movie. Anyways, bye bye.